Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at something cool. No, 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 there you go. That's right, we have a K-Bar wrench knife in the house. I had to push it a little far forward because my damn lights like to make a freaking glare. But this thing's actually pretty awesome and I've wanted one for a long time, but I was kind of hesitant because it just seemed like it was just cheap Chinese crap. And I knew the steel on it wasn't that good. It's 425 steel. I don't know if there's another number after it. I think it's just 425 steel. It's a stainless steel, but it's not a great stainless steel. But until I got this and got it in hand, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't too sure about it. But now after looking at it, this is what makes me really happy right here. Manufactured in the USA, and the sheath is manufactured in the USA. It says with German steel, so I guess 425 is a German steel. But there you go, 425 high carbon stainless steel. Guess I should have just turned it over. But this thing is actually pretty freaking cool. Let's open it up because I've already done it. It comes with your knife. It comes with your little packet to keep moisture out, which is kind of stupid because it's not like it's sealed. Maybe that's why they did it. And there is zero literature. This, this is your literature. But anyways, get to this knife. This thing is kind of sweet, you know? And uh, if you're a tool guy, which I'm a tool guy. I have lots and lots and lots of tools, especially crescent wrenches. Got a lot of crescent wrenches. I even have a 24 inch crescent wrench, but uh, let's not talk about my bottle opener, my two bottle openers. <laughs> but as a tool guy who likes tools and collects crescent wrenches, cause I'm weird like that, this thing's cool because it damn near looks like it was forged out of a crescent wrench. Now, we all know it wasn't forged out of a crescent wrench. This was just drop forged, kind of like those uh, cold steel drop forged knives. But it's still cool. It's still cool to keep in your toolbox and whatnot. I can stop dropping shit. And it comes with a decent uh, plastic molded sheath and whatnot. Now, uh, it does not come with any carry method, but you could easily attach whatever kind of clip you want to it. This is very, very, very light. Do I have a scale that works? I don't have a scale that works, but it's very light. It's pretty comfortable in hand. I haven't used it, used it yet, but just, you can just hold on. You know, typically if you've held enough knives and tools and stuff like that, you can hold something and you can be like, yeah, this is going to be comfortable. No, this is not going to be comfortable. Now, after extended use, you know, that's, that's up for debate. But as of right now, just comfort. I didn't think I would like it as much being so thin, which we're right around... Eh, three, five sixteenths thick. I didn't think it would be as comfortable it is, especially because I have big hands. You know, I'm not a big fan of skeletonized knives usually, or stuff you have to paracord wrap like the uh, the Benchmade Adamus, but it's comfortable. It's comfortable and it's kind of a novelty in my opinion. Now these things are not that expensive. I'll put the link in or I'll put the price in right here. And that's because they're 425 J's or 425 steel. The thing that I don't like the most about this, and it's honestly, it's only really drawback is it's made by K bar. If this thing was in uh 1095, this would be badass. I K bar, please, please make this knife in 1095 steel, 1075. Give me something, give me something better than 425 steel. And this thing would be kind of carryable and it'd be a damn conversation piece. You know, if somebody <laughs> you're walking around with a, with a something sticking out of your pocket, looks like a crescent wrench. Like, Oh, what do you, what do you got there? A crescent wrench? Nope. Got my little EDC knife, uh, pocket carry. This thing would probably be pretty decent because it'll just slide right into your pocket. Yep. It really does. And yeah. Now one other thing too, that I noticed very quickly because I am Peterbilt knife guy who likes sharpening stuff and having sharp things, but it's a freaking butter knife right out of the box, right out of the gate. This thing is a butter knife. 
So it does need to be sharpened. And you can, excuse my dirty hands, but you can tell there's kind of a little swirl. The tip right here, it kind of goes and then up. Um, there's like a little dip in the steel right there. Like this needs to get sharpened up more or too much belly, I don't know. But the grind lines are way off, but it's not an expensive knife for being made in USA. So that can be sharpened and fixed up, but it's definitely gonna need to be sharpened. So I, I don't know about all these little K-Bar wrench knives. And I call it a wrench knife, it's called a drop forge knife, but you're probably gonna have to sharpen it right out of the gate. And that's not a problem. It shouldn't be a hard knife to sharpen because it's only 425 steel. And I think it's hardened to, I'll put it in here because I don't remember. But yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of stoked about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know what it's good for. EDC, I guess, be my only thing. Uh, could you use it as a camp knife? Probably, could you throw it in your toolbox just to have a cool knife with you in your toolbox? Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than for the price, made in USA, I'm gonna say cool. Thanks for watching.